A strange metal sphere with unknown symbols on it and a microchip was just found in Colombia. In 2024, Earth briefly picked up a second moon, and on Christmas night in Ireland, a father and son watched five star-like lights zigzag across the sky at impossible speeds before vanishing without a sound. These are bizarre Earth anomalies recently discovered. So this is absolutely nuts. We've seen a lot of UAPs in the news so far this year, but this just takes things to a whole other level. So back in March, in Buga, Colombia, this mysterious metal sphere about the size of a grapefruit was found sitting in a field. It weighed around four and a half pounds and was made of multiple layers of metal with a tiny microchip buried in the center. I don't know why I'm saying was. It is. I mean, they have this sphere. These images of it are very real. Now, what got everyone talking, though, were the strange symbols on the surface of it. That and the fact that people said they saw the sphere zipping through the sky in the days leading up to it being found. So the symbols don't match any known language, but they look almost ancient or alien-like. Scientists and engineers examined the thing, and while it clearly wasn't just a chunk of scrap metal, nobody could agree on where it came from. So far, no one's claimed it. No factories nearby made anything like it, and it wasn't a leftover from any known satellite or drone. So what the hell is this thing? An alien probe? Some kind of lost technology? At this point, no one has any idea. In late 2024, scientists spotted something very strange. Earth had picked up a second moon. So a small asteroid about 10 meters wide was temporarily caught by our planet's gravity and orbited us for nearly two months before drifting away into space. The object, named 2024 PT5, is believed to actually contain material from the moon itself, meaning it could be a chunk that broke off during a past impact and ended up circling Earth. These kinds of temporary moons are extremely rare though, and most go completely unnoticed. On Christmas Day in 2024, in the small town of Kilcommon in Ireland, a father and son saw something very strange in the sky at around 6.09 p.m. They described seeing this group of star-like lights behaving in a way that stars definitely should not. One of the witnesses told the press, I noticed one of what I believed to be stars in the sky moving all of a sudden. I pointed it out to my dad and we began observing it. Then it stopped, dead in its tracks. Maybe five seconds later, more of these stars began moving. It was here we realized these weren't stars. So in total, they saw four to five of these white lights. They moved at speeds faster than a commercial airplane, over a thousand kilometers per hour, and made no sound at all. The witness also added, the one that stopped then began moving once again, and I counted four while well, my dad counted five of these white lights moving quickly across the sky until they vanished into thin air one by one. This left us very confused and scared. So far, they haven't reported the sighting to authorities, but they're thinking about contacting a group that looks into unidentified aerial phenomena. In May of 2024, Earth got hit by a series of major solar storms, the strongest we've seen in decades. Between May 7th and 11th, the sun fired off several huge solar flares and at least seven coronal mass ejections. These are massive bursts of charged particles, and they were headed straight for Earth at insane speeds, up to three million miles per hour. That sounds so crazy, saying it out loud. Well, what happened was a G5 level geomagnetic storm, G5 is apparently the highest possible rating. It caused some pretty unusual effects, like the northern lights being visible as far south as Texas and parts of southern Europe. GPS systems were acting up too, and farmers in the Midwest actually had trouble with their high-tech tractors because of it. There's a strange spot in the Indian Ocean where the sea level is about 100 meters lower than it should be. And no, it's not because of a hole in the ocean. It's a gravity anomaly, meaning gravity is a bit weaker there, so water doesn't pile up like it does in other areas. This spot is called the Indian Ocean Geoid Low, and it's been confusing scientists for years. But now researchers think it's caused by chunks of old seafloor that sank deep into the earth millions of years ago, combined with rising plumes of hotter, lighter rock. They've created a region with less mass under the surface, which means weaker gravity above it. It's a weird part of our planet that's basically 
what I'm getting from this. In December of 2024, people in northern Vermont, upstate New York, and even Atlanta started spotting strange drone formations flying low over neighborhoods and back roads. These things had bright flashing lights, made almost no sound, and were flying in these coordinated patterns. What exactly were they? Where were they from? We still don't know. They don't look like your average hobby drones, though. Local police, the FAA, nor the military have taken responsibility. A drone expert named William Austin looked into it and apparently thinks most of these sightings were probably just people mistaking planes or regular drones for something more mysterious. But are you guys buying that? A lot of people are saying this could have been some sort of government testing or obviously, aliens. Since 2023, coral reefs around the world have been getting hit hard by unusually warm ocean weather. Scientists are calling it the biggest coral bleaching event ever recorded. About 84% of the world's reefs have been affected by this, from the Great Barrier Reef to the Caribbean. Coral bleaching happens when water gets too warm for too long. So the coral kicks out the algae, which gives it its color and food, so it's basically starving itself. If the water doesn't cool down soon enough, the coral dies. And since coral reefs support about 25% of all marine life, this isn't just bad for the ocean, it's a full-on crisis. What's making it worse is that this isn't just a freak event, it's happening because of long-term ocean warming from climate change, made even more intense by El Nino, a natural climate cycle that temporarily raises ocean temperatures around the world. So between long-term warming and this short-term boost, the reefs are taking a double hit. The heat just keeps building and the reefs can't recover fast enough. Entire ecosystems are at risk. Once they're gone, they don't come back easily, if at all. Hidden asteroids near Venus could be headed our way. It turns out Venus has a bunch of asteroids tagging along in its orbit, at least 20 of them. Scientists only recently found these things because they're usually lost in the glare of the sun, making them nearly impossible to spot from Earth. That's a problem, because some of them have weird, unstable orbits that could eventually cross paths with us. One of them, called Zeusve, has already caught scientists' attention. It gets uncomfortably close to Earth from time to time, and if even one of these so-called city-killer asteroids ever hits us, it would not be pretty. It'd cause serious damage. I mean, they're called city killers for a reason, right? So it sucks that we can't really track them that well, not only because the sun blocks our view, but because, you know, tools we have can't really keep tabs on stuff in that part of the sky. That's why scientists are pushing for space-based observatories, you know, satellites that could watch these things without being blinded by sunlight. Back in May of 2024, the sun let loose one of the biggest solar storms we've seen in decades. A surge of high energy particles were fired straight towards the Earth. Normally our planet's magnetic field handles this kind of thing, trapping most of that radiation inside the Van Allen belts, which are basically these two donut shaped zones of charged particles wrapped around Earth. They kind of act as a force field, to put it as simply as I can, but this time a tiny NASA satellite called Elfin detected two brand new temporary radiation belts forming around Earth. One of them was filled with high energy protons and was floating farther out than the usual belts. These new belts could have seriously messed with satellites and space equipment. They're like invisible minefields. A hit of that radiation can fry electronics. The good news is they eventually faded, but the fact that they appeared at all means that solar storms can temporarily reshape the environment around Earth. That's something we're gonna really need to consider for space travel and even people flying at high altitudes during these events. There's this glitch in Earth's magnetic field called the South Atlantic Anomaly. It's basically a weak spot in the planet's protective magnetic shield, and it floats over parts of South America and the South Atlantic Ocean. This thing isn't new, but over the past couple years, it's gotten bigger but weaker and it started splitting into two separate zones. Scientists at NASA and ESA are keeping a close eye on it, but what's all the fuss about? Well, this magnetic field is what protects Earth from solar and cosmic radiation. When it thins out, more radiation makes it through. Satellites that pass over the anomaly get hit with extra particle bombardment, which has already caused data glitches and in some cases permanent damage. No one's exactly sure why it's happening, but one theory is that it has something to do with the movement of molten iron in Earth's outer core. 
the same stuff that creates the magnetic field in the first place. Some folks even wonder if it's a sign we're headed for a magnetic pole flip, which has happened before in Earth's history. Well, I've been your host, James. I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next video.